Hi, I'm Joe Soltis from Fathom SEO and I'm here to talk with you today about how email marketing can drive new sales revenue to your organization. Some general industry background information for you here. Uh, the Direct Marketing Association did an analysis of email marketing and found that the average return on investment from email marketing is about $57 per $1 spent. That growth is phenomenal. That return on investment is phenomenal that can be brought into a company uh, through email marketing. It blows other marketing mediums out of the water. As a result of seeing this, businesses are beginning to cash in on the revenue potential from opt-in email marketing. Um, eMarketer recently did a study and found that the annual growth rate for email um, compounded is 14.6% from 2002 to 2007. Um, that's because businesses are seeing the potential and, and what they can gain uh, through email marketing. Another thing that's driving the growth in the email marketing industry is the fact that the return on investment can be calculated uh, with an exact return on investment. Uh, you can track um, your return on investment through sales generated per dollar spent, leads generated per dollar spent, branding and awareness uh, generated per dollar spent. Sales and leads uh, can be measured through a simple analytic integration as well as branding and awareness. You can find out the sales dollars amount brought in um, through analytic integration where you'll be able to see that $23,000 was brought in from a campaign that may have cost $1,800 to launch. Um, you can check it out for the number of leads and, and measure it out on a cost per lead basis and figure out that you're bringing in leads well below your cost per lead through your other lead sources. And then also you're generating branding and awareness when you get inbound links generated to your website. You generate buzz about your company across the internet and then you bring traffic, a measurable amount of traffic into your website as a result of the email initiatives. There are four basic steps to building a very successful marketing strategy. Step one, build a quality opt-in database and collect just enough useful data. Step two, send timely messages that are relevant to the subscriber. Step three, you want to segment your database. Um, and step four, send your messages with the backing of advanced technology and ISP relations. So, what you want to do, go a little more into detail about each of those steps now. And step one, when we're building a quality database, uh, there's two things we want to keep in mind, especially. One, utilize existing traffic coming into your website. And number two, use double opt-in uh, mechanisms in order to ensure quality data gets put into our database. So basically, for step one, in this, when you're building, you're already driving traffic uh, to your website. If you're with your salt, you're driving traffic to your website. People are coming to your website. They might come once, and they'll never come back again. Um, capture them uh, when they come to your website. Make it part of your existing website itself. Well, there's a simple field, email, subscribe. Um, and then use an incentive to get people to subscribe. Receive a monthly newsletter with information and secrets uh, about what's happening in Industry X. Or if you're in traditional type e-commerce, you could say, sign up for a newsletter and receive information about products and services that you're interested in. Um, receive special promotions and discounts, etc. So you can take those people, capture them, send them an automated follow-up email, confirm that subscription, send them another automated email instantaneously, welcoming them and, and upselling them. Um, in addition, then you can send out a monthly newsletter continually re-engaging them in the process um, of your marketing campaigns. Um, then, another part I want to stress here is the double opt-in. Um, there's something out there called spam bots. They scour the internet. They look for single opt-in forms and they'll sign up for your, for your email uh, newsletters. Then when they, you send them an email, you can get caught in a spam bot. Um, and then when the email goes out, any email that arrives at that spam trap email address, um, you'll end up getting caught in a spam filter um, as a result of the blacklistings that occur from that email arriving in that spam trap. Um, Another way to build your database is to use current uh, customers, potential clients that you're working with. Um, and you want to network with these individuals, um, get their email addresses, and then send them communications. If you have a database of, of potential clients you've been marketing uh, to you know, through traditional sales or snail mail, what have you, and you've acquired it over time, and you have the email addresses, and you've essentially done nothing with them, um, maybe it's not a good idea to contact a five-year-old lead and just start blindly once a month sending them an email. Uh, newsletter of solicitation. It's not a good approach. So you want to do is use a double opt-in approach. Send them an email asking them to confirm their subscription. Use advanced tracking so if they click on the link, you know that John Smith clicked on the link to confirm his subscription. And then you just direct them to a page that says thank you for signing up. So those are ways to build your database. In addition, you can use a quality like refer a friend program, attach it with some incentives, and, and encourage people to forward your message on to a friend. 
any high quality email marketing vendor can help you institute these plans to build a quality database using quality double opt-in techniques. Um, the next step um, is to send timely messages that are relevant to the subscriber. Um, the new spam um, of the internet is simply non-relevant email. If they opted in and you send them a non-relevant message, your message is considered spam by the recipient. They're going to hit that report spam button, they're going to move you to the bulk folder, they're going to hit the delete button. Um, nothing you want, that's not something you want. Um, so one thing we can do here um, is make sure that our messages are relevant to the recipient. An example of how we can do this for you um, is someone subscribes to your database. Um, once they subscribe, um, they are sent, sent an email um, and they confirm their subscription. You have the double opt-in email taken care of. The next part of the process is once they sign up for a subscription-based service, say for example you may be offering, um, when they subscribe to that, um, they may ha pay for a one-year subscription for $1,000. Um, 30 days before that expiration comes up, you can send them an automated email follow-up saying, your subscription's about to expire in 30 days. Go to this website to renew now. They go to the website, and once they're at that website, they can renew their subscription. Um, and you can set that up at 15 days, 5 days, 4 days, 3 days, 2 days, 1 day. Um, completely automate the process. And in those emails, not only are you reminding them their current subscription uh, is about to expire, but also upsell them on similar subscriptions that they could subscribe to. Um, so, and this is a proven technique to drastically improve revenue at, at a very low cost. Um, the next step, and to take and integrate into your email marketing uh, solution, is to segment your database. Monitor the opens, clicks, browsing activities, and purchases of your recipients, and segment them accordingly. P folks that have purchased and folks that have not purchased. Folks that have clicked on um, product A, folks that have not clicked on product A, folks that have clicked on product B, et cetera. And then to say someone, for example, someone clicks on product B. You know they're interested in product B. Segment them into a product B database, and then in the future you can use a dynamic campaign where product B shows up first and foremost in the email. Um, or you could send a campaign specifically about product B just to the product B database. So it's some of the real value in, in, in the segmentation of your database. If you have a large database and you're not segmenting it, you might have an open uh, rate of 10% and click-through rate of you know, 10%. Um, but using some of these advanced techniques and segmentation, you can get your open rate to about 55, 65% uh, percent and get your click-through rates up to 25%. Um, so you can really make some fine improvements simply just by segmenting your database and sending relevant information to them. And, and this is really important when it comes to email. It, basically, if your email doesn't reach your recipients, it's worthless. So you want to send your message with the backing of advanced technology and strong ISP relations. Um, if you're, you either need to do this your house in-house, have a full ISP relations person, uh, full-time ISP relations uh, person on staff, um, or you need to outsource that. Um, there's whitelists out there, there's feedback loops, there's 270 some blacklists. These all need to be monitored and relationships need to be made with each blacklist and each ISP in order to make sure that you're well taken care of. You also need to monitor deliverability by ISP. Are you going into the inbox or are you going into the bulk folder? You're getting completely eaten by spam filters. Most, most of the places out there, just a little secret, uh, most of the folks that are out there and this technology that's out there are going to say, your message went out to 25,000 folks. Um, and you had 2,000 that bounced, and that's all they're going to tell you in the report. They might even tell you those 2,000 are that bounced. But what they don't tell you um, is what your deliverability is by ISP. And they don't tell you that if the message got caught in a spam filter, um, the spam filter probably didn't send a bounce notification back to the sender. Um, therefore, you may have only reached 40% of the actual market that you thought you did. So that needs to be monitored, and the ISP needs, or your ESP, your email service provider needs to be able to prove to you that they're getting that deliverability and be able to show it to you. Um, the last thing you want to do that's also tremendously important, and I just really got to pound this in, in order to accurately segment your database, you want to track the activity of a recipient and send them a relevant message at a relevant time. So the big picture of this whole thing is with email, you can drive lots of new sales, you can upsell current clients, you can track an exact ROI, and see a dramatic improvement to your bottom line. If you need any help with this, feel free to contact Fathom SEO. You can visit our email marketing division's website at perfectemailmarketing.com. Thank you.